Welcome back to another great segment here of the YCS Lille coverage. I am joined by Christos Morikis for Master versus Caster. Of course, the Greek powerhouse all the way here at another YCS. Christos, to quickly introduce you, you have millions of tops, basically. Literally topping any YCS for how many years are you in the game now? Now I'm almost at 20 years in wow. the game. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so weird. From around 2005, I started to play competitively. That's really, yeah. really cool. So we're going to put that to the test because I'm going to show you to a, uh, challenge you to a duel. So let's go into the top cam and let's already yep. uh, play a little match here of Time Wizard 2010. Did you play back in the day? Yes, I was playing. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing the, the Quick Draw Synchron deck. Ooh, that yeah. was a cool one. Mm -hmm. I have a nine. And that is a seven, seven for you. So I will gladly go first. Sure. Let's have a fun duel. You do. And uh, yeah, so you played there. You've been playing competitive for a long time. You said 2005 was the starting point of your competitive career. Yep. Um, when then did you get your first top? Like first major event where you topped? Well, what year was that? Uh, it was 2005. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the end of the de uh, December. It was Faro Tour 2005 oh. in Greece. What yep. deck did you play? Do you still remember? It was Control Warrior with uh, DDS Lands and oh, yeah. uh, some Chaos Sorcerers. It was like a mix. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, you're always someone who is uh, very bring is bringing very interesting decks to the tournament because people will remember you just recently at the European Championship. You actually brought Rescue Ace into the tournament yep. where it was heavily dominated by Snake Eyes and all the other Ubel decks and so on and so forth. And you did really well with it, going top 16 and. Uh, is that a special thing about you? Do you always try to think out of the box? Or what was the reason you brought that deck there? Uh, the deck got powered by the Film Zenith. Okay. And uh, I usually try to play the decks that I know better. So I wasn't comfortable with the Snake Eye Pure or with the Ubel because I didn't use it at all. Yeah. And I was comfortable with the Snake Eye, with the Rescue Ace. Sure. And I played Castilla then back with the Film Zenith engine. And uh, I was really, really comfortable, and it paid out, I yeah. guess. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. it did, yeah. So let's see what you got here. Okay, uh, normal. Uh, Ooh. Card Trooper. Yeah, no response. Effect for three. Please, go ahead. That's a Gale. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Shirocco already down there. That's a pretty good start, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, my, mine looks kind of measly, not gonna... <laughs> not even trying uh, to hide it. Yes, that? that was a Treeborn Frog, okay. but not anymore. And this is it for me. Oh, OK, yeah. OK, we're keeping it simple here. OK, so uh, I'll go into the standby phase, bring back my Treeborn Frog, if that's fine. Yep. And um, trying to activate reinforcement of the army now in the yeah. main phase. Cool. I mean, in 2010, there wasn't much going on with uh, Ash Blossom or anything like that. The game has changed quite a bit, right? Because you have been playing back in the day, but you're still so much involved with the game nowadays. What would you say um, is the biggest change from playing 2010 Yu-Gi-Oh! to nowadays Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you were really good back then, but you're also still very good now. Uh, basically, I play this game still from then because I love this game, of course. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if I didn't like it, I would be not playing anymore. Of I was course. very tired. Yeah. So the main reason that I keep playing it's because the love of the game and I try to be positive in every format. Yeah. Even if it's tire zero format or uh, more uh, uh, more variants. I think it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you, you are having success with that. It's not like uh, you are just playing there to have a casual experience at YCSs. You are out there being really, really successful. I think last season, of course, you made that top 16 run at the European Championship, but I think you also won Greek Open, didn't you? Or like a really big regional in, in Greece? Uh, no, last year I got uh, top eight in uh, nationals. Oh, and yeah. the, the, the year before I, we won nationals. Oh, yeah. Yep. And true, true. It was I, bad. Greek Open, I got top uh, five. Oh, yeah, yeah, even that. OK, OK. Yep. So definitely still very successful. OK, I'll just try my luck in the battle phase. Yep. So that's 1,500 points of damage for you there. And the oh, 1,400, yeah. And you can, of course, draw. And then that's going to be one set card and my turn. OK. Go ahead. But yeah, what would you say was the biggest success overall you had so far in your entire Yu-Gi-Oh career? As you have, uh, do you have a number in your mind? How many major tops do you have right now? It's more than 20. More it's than about 20. Uh, 
24, I think. 24. <laughs> That's I don't remember exactly. Yeah, but what's the biggest success? If you have to name one success, what was it? Of course, uh, I really was happy when I finally won Nationals last year. For sure. Uh, but uh, I really liked in many formats, like I like the format with uh, Sadol, um, BA yeah. and Sadeller Knight, if you remember, yeah, the yeah, 2014. Yeah. There yes. I had the top the two YCS uh, in a row. The, nice. It was, I liked the very, this format very much. Yeah. So main phase, yes. speed charts. That's pretty good. Okay, are we getting any other good cards down there? Okay, that was yeah. bad. That was bad. I will take that. <laughs> that is something I could work with, but I'm still worried because I have not been having too much going here. So, boom, that's a Raiko for you. Yep. There you go. But yeah, so, j so just nationals pretty much, right? Just having that title. Yeah, finally, yeah. <laughs> after many tries <laughs> all these years. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of a representative of the Greek community as well, right? Because the Greek community is not the biggest, but still a very, very strong yeah. one because you have uh, you have YCS champions from, from Greece, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Uh, yes, we have Andreas Relos, if you remember. Yes, absolutely. Two-time YCS champion. Yeah, even yeah. two-time YCS champion, yeah. that's crazy. So yeah, like you have some definitely very, very strong players. So it's great to see that you're still out there playing the game for so long and now uh, still having big, big success with it. But yeah, are you going to have success here against me? Let's see. <laughs> I will try oh, to brain control uh, this one. That's fine. Yeah. There you go. So that's 800 life points. I'm, I'm working my way up. 800 life points gone. <laughs> uh, tribute. Oh Kyle's boy. Oh boy, yes. Uh, effect on the tribute. It's gone. I'm afraid it's gone. I'm happy it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, battle. Yep. Attack. Yep. That's fine. I'll take it. 2400. Set one. And I will pass. All right. Drawing one card. Finally, a good one. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. So I'll go into the main phase. Okay. I will special summon out the Infernal Prodigy because I don't control any monsters. Yeah. But I will quickly make use of that. Tribute summon my own copy of Caius. And Caius will use its effect trying to banish your Caius. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's fine. Okay, okay. That's a lot of damage for you already. That's yep. 1400, uh, 2200, now 3200 of damage. Hmm. Um, you know what? I'll just... I'll just go battle phase, come on. 24? Uh, it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. 2,400 more. Um, your turn. It's getting close now. Yeah. My hand is awkward, to be honest. <laughs> Mine was really <laughs> awkward as well, for sure. Like, um, do you remember how many featured matches you had along the way? Because you have now quite the career, and you have been on stage before. I know that for a fact. But do you know how many times you have been? I think um, around six, seven. I don't remember exactly, to be honest. Yeah, but yep. does it change the way you play? Or are you at this point just completely used to it and it's like a regular, normal duel to you? Uh, for a reason, I think I have won every feature match I've played in. <laughs> I'm almost sure. I don't know how, but uh, it happens, I guess. <laughs> okay, so you yeah. are very comfortable then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I play very... I try to be very calm in yeah. the feature match because many times my opponent in the feature match uh, is always uh, almost um, very... Nervous, right? Very nervous, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a very... I mean... Would that be an advice you give to, to newer players starting out, just trying to be calm when you're playing, trying to be very collective yes. and focused? For, and uh, feel uh, comfortable with the environment around mm -hmm. you and try to make the best move in order to be simple. That's the, the okay. key word. Yeah, because if you try to make many explosive turns, yeah, yeah. you may just lose by yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> because for sure. It, Maybe you play into any beer, for example, because you could have played around it. Totally. Yep. So, so we set two. Yeah. And I'll pass. So you would generally say you're more of a control player than a combo player? To be honest, I have played combo decks only once or twice <laughs> in okay. my career. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you yep. definitely are. Yep. Okay, cool. So I'll go into the main phase. Yep. I'll try to go. Special summon Swap Frog by discarding Ocean. Yes. Effect Swap Frog. Yep. OK. 
Okay, okay. That could be good. Where, where's my... Oh, yeah, there's Treeborn Frog. <laughs> For a second, I was worried Treeborn Frog was limited in that format. But I think... Tre was Treeborn Frog ever limited? I don't think so, actually. I'm uh, not sure. I think yes. Uh, oh, it was? Moment, yep. Okay. Um, okay, so that's Raikou, pretty obviously. Um, I will just... Yeah, I'll go ahead and... Attack with the Kaios, actually. Mm. Thinking I will... Just a prison. Mm. Yeah, that works. Yeah. I'll still try. It's Raikou. <laughs> it is! Let's go. I will pop the set card. Yes! Alright, so let's have let's yep. have a look. One, two, three. The first okay. one was scary, but the rest was pretty okay for me, honestly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Raikou is gone. I will set one more and pass it over to you. Okay. But yeah, is there... What, what keeps you motivated still being that successful, still being that competitive? Is there, like, a goal you still have in mind? Is there something you want to still achieve in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! nowadays? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and want... what is it? to go to the World Championship, of course. Uh, I was really close again at the European Championship this sure. year. Top 16 that was, yeah. yeah. And uh, I would also like to win a YCS, of course. Yep. I have been there uh, two times, top eight. Yeah. And uh, I want to be even closer. Yeah, <laughs> I will for try. sure. Yeah. So top eight you made with Sky Striker, I think, once in London. Yep. And, and then what was the other one? Dragon Rulers oh. in... Uh, 2013, right? 13, 2013, yeah. yep. Was that, was that also London? London and Sky Striker was Utrecht. Oh, it was Utrecht, yep. of course. Yep. The tune at YCS in Utrecht. How, how could I forget, yeah. of course. <laughs> uh, main, so, Sirocco. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Uh, but. Yeah. Tap. Yeah. Okay. And I will take pass. a thousand of that. And. In the end phase, I will go Windstorm on the face down. Mm. Thinking. <coughs> sure. How much uh, life points I have still? Yeah, yeah. So let's see. Um, 24. You're on 24. 24. Oh. Okay, that's not a lot. Yeah. 24 only. Holy. Hmm. 24. What is it that you're thinking about now, I'm wondering? What could you chain? I think I will... I mean, maybe you don't want it on top of the deck. Yeah. Okay, I see, I see. Maybe I did a big mistake by by discarding that wonderful by miracle fusion. But let's see. <laughs> <laughs> sure, of course, go ahead. Go ahead. We have another one. We will open with three. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, who, who knows? Who knows? Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It resolves. Right, yep. All right. Still my turn. Yep. Okay. So stand by face. The tree born. Yep. Aggressive tree born in attack position. Then we go. Oh, it's, it's awkward. Creature swap. <laughs> no. Normal swap effect. Yep. I just sent the dupe frog. Mm -hmm. Then we go for the miracle fusion. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. A third one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I started all three of them for yeah. real. That was crazy. So these two do make a pretty beautiful absolute zero. And then I will try to go into the battle phase. Yeah. Attack. He's at three, 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 five. Oh, wait. Uh, it does gain... Oh, it gains four, 500 for every one yeah. monster on the field. So that's 1,500. So he's on 4K. 4K or... Th yeah, it, three? it gains 500 attack for every water monster on the field, except themselves. No, except themselves. So it's okay. 35. So that's 1,500. Yeah. 1,600. 
Oh, use oh it. boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. There's the goys. Uh, yeah, right. Let's just uh, use this for a token. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, attack defense however you want. I mean, I'm going to attack yeah, it yeah, anyways. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, yeah, go ahead. Your turn. Ay, ay, ay. That's a big gorse. That's a really good gorse, very sadly. I had it almost. I had it almost. Hmm. Go battle. Yep. Attack the swap. Yep. Set. And I will pass. Pretty good. Ooh, speaking of pretty good, main face. Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty good, right? Um, yep. Target this. This. Um, oh, man. I'm dueling out here with a veteran of the game. Go ahead. Yeah, it's German, though, I think. Oh, it's a nerve. So yeah, yeah when, it leaves, when it leaves the field, it destroys all of your monsters. Leaves the field... Um... I think back in the day, in 2010, like, just assuming this is Compulse, I think yep. when it goes to the extra deck, it still actually is going... I'm double-checking with the judge, and he says it's still going to activate, actually. Oh, okay. I think nowadays it would be different, but as it is a time wizard format, we're going to use the rulings from back in the day. Of course. Of course. So uh, it would even then activate its effect. I will chain. <laughs> sure. And I will chain to to bounce the Yeah, you have to Ryza. bounce the yeah. Ryza. That's kind of crazy. Um, battle phase. Yep. Oh, if it's... Is it Vayu? I mean, I can't really do anything about it, yeah. Yep. It is. Oh, it's, oh, it's oh that's good. Um, your turn. It's getting closer and closer now. <laughs> but what would you say... Uh, I ask you for your biggest success, but like, what was the deck you were the most proud of? Because you have been playing a lot of different decks, and uh, when I talked to you, you also told me you like to play a deck for a pretty long time because you want to get used to the deck, you like to play a deck for a while. So what was the deck you were the proudest of that you played in your career so far? Um, it was uh, one of the... My favorite is Spide Melfi because I won nationals with it. True, you won that last but, year. But uh, my old one uh, that was uh, really, really enjoyed was uh, Sadol in the 2014. Yeah. Yep. It was very nice and uh, still uh, back and forth then. I really liked it. Did you have any special tech cards there with that deck? Because you were like that made you especially proud. Uh, we were playing then. Um, the version with the mini dragons, the uh, black serpent, yes, and the yes, weaving cool. buster. Oh yeah, that's very very. Then cool. Koseka also. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Again, the Cliffords. Yeah. If you remember. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it was a crazy format for sure. Okay, so you now have Black Spread Zombie down there, but is it going to help you? That's a question. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I'm still, like, I think I was a bit too greedy discarding that Miracle Fusion. Like, a second Miracle Fusion would have been really, really, really good. People at home can, can write it into the chat <laughs> when they see this right here. <laughs> can blame me for my misplays. So this one, 25, right? Right uh, now it's on 25, yeah. Uh, battle phase. Yeah. Attack. So activate yep. the effect. Your gorse is also gone. Yeah. Oh boy. Right, no so. field. 2,400 life points. I might be getting there. <laughs> um. That's a long and grindy game, though, that we have here. I will just pass, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yep. true. Riser has to activate, right? Yeah. Riser has to activate. Yep. That's actually interesting. That's a very smart move. I will activate the Treeborn. Yep. In aggressive attack position again. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's like super smart. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. That was smart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> attack. <Yes>. Attack. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And go ahead. 200 attack points in total for you there. Your turn. So, 
a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this could be trouble. This could be dangerous. There's the grapher. Yep. Yep. What else do we have? To be fair, my Razor top deck was also really good. That's yeah, fine. Yes, indeed. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> Spirit Reaper to the graveyard. Now, finally, a value in there, probably. Yes. Has been a while. <laughs> I get a good see one. <laughs> I mean, some people are calling this deck a value turbo deck. That wasn't very turbo the way you put that value into the graveyard there. I tried my best. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So, I will banish. Yes. Totally. So there is the Armor Master now. I will also use... Yes! Flag Flax Brother. Yeah. Sure. There it is. Oh. Oh man, this no might be coming Ryza. down. Yep, mm. Ryza still there. Ryza still waiting. So... Oh, oh, we're using our extra deck. Yep. Black Spreader gone. Goyo? Yep, Goyo. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Yep. I see what you're trying to <laughs> Battle do. Battle face. Exactly, you have to attack, attack. this first. Yep. Effect tree board, uh, effect swap. I can add a frog monster. Yeah, I'm pretty yep. sure I still have a frog. Oh, wait, do I have a frog monster still? Oh, no. Yeah, there's frog frog, okay. And I will attack and take it. That's a lot of damage, so that was... How much was it? That was 22, and then after that also 27. That's a lot of damage. It's game? It's actually game! I've oh, just told my judges that's game! Oh, I, no. <laughs> oh my! Look, cut, cut, and I will have to see. What would have been my yeah. top deck? Would I have had it? <laughs> that's a little late, so you probably, probably would have still gotten it. But yeah, uh, GG's, that was GGs, fun. GGs. That was a really fun yeah. game. So even... In 2010, with three Miracle Fusions in my hand, I can't beat Chris's Marika. <laughs> so, Chris's, of course, thank you for dueling. Thank you for the interview. Thank and you very much. best of luck in the tournament, of course. You are once again trying, of course. You still have that goal of winning a YCS. Yes. And you have some good history of Jubilee YCSs, as you made top eight at the 200 YCS, right? Yes, indeed. So, maybe it is your time to strike again. Wishing you all the best for that. Thank you Thanks again. for watching, everyone. We're going to go back to the live coverage now. Thank you, and until the next segment.